Uh, today we're going to talk about connection methods. Now we've talked before about the types of connections, nine lead motors, six lead motors, 12 lead motors, and how to connect them, but we've never sat and talked about the method that we use. And what that means is the type of connector. Now NFPA 79 clause 13, it tells us that it says that for electric motor connections, you can only use an acceptable method and twist on connections should not be used for this application. So in other words, guys, wire nuts are not an acceptable method of connecting an electric motor. Most people use them because they're quicker and it's a cheap and expensive way of doing it. But the problem is, is they don't last. And let me explain to you why. They're not really rated in current. They're rated in size, wire size. Because remember, motor loads are unlike most other loads, like in your house or something like that, where the, the current's passing through at a fairly rapid rate. With an induction motor, if there's a variable frequency drive or a soft start or anything like that, the loads are gonna change and the current is gonna go up and down. You will even get into overload conditions sometimes. And you can run there at, for short periods of time. If you have this connector on there, and it's not rated for the size wire that you have, these will get hot, they do melt, and they will fade.